Hey guys, Brian Holder here. Brian Holder Graphic Design. I'm working on my new website. Hopefully by the time that you're watching this video on YouTube or wherever that my new site is up and running. Uh, I had some issues with my WordPress site and uh, I'm not sure what happened but for whatever reason I got myself locked out. Um, and then when I, I, I think it was because I tried signing it up for an automatic upgrade thing and there was an upgrade and I don't know what happened but for whatever reason I couldn't get my theme to work anymore. I installed a new theme. I'm not a huge fan of it but believe it or not I'm actually um, kind of basing my, my website off of this theme here. I uh, updated, updated my logo a little bit too because I never really liked that other one. I don't even like this one, but I'm a designer, so I'm never going to like no matter what I do, so I'm just going to go with it. Um, so for today, what I'm going to do is we're going to go through and do a jQuery theme manager tutorial because I need to uh, I need to create a theme for my, for my new site. Um, so basically what we have in front of us here are a whole bunch of jQuery objects um, that can be found in the toolbox here if you go down to the uh, the jQuery uh, column, the jQuery tab um, there's all kinds of fun little things in there and here's basically the default theme um, and it's called uh, Cupertino just like Cupertino California um, so these are all jQuery little things, there's buttons that you can use, there's a tab thing um, boy that's interesting I don't know what that was about. Um, it's got to have something to do with this thing that I just put on. So, uh, just for the sake of not having any issues here, let's go and delete the. You know what? Hold on a second. Let me just look at this. So, if you've never used this before, if you've ever seen this, this is uh, telling me if there's an error someplace. So, what I have is I have a duplicate ID. Um, so, whenever I try to build a website, especially if you're using master pages or master frames, which the site actually uses both. Uh, I always try to make sure that at least on the master page itself and on the master frame that you're using a unique ID for everything. And I think that's probably what happened. Now why I was getting that error when I was scrolling down because I didn't get that before. So let's check this out now that I have no errors. Still get that. I don't I don't know what's going on with that. It's interesting to me. Um, but at any rate, yeah, because that's not even the right. I don't know. But at any rate, uh, these are the jQuery objects. There's accordions. You, know, you get these these fun tab things that you can use. Um, these little drop down boxes. So it's a good way of stuffing more content into a page with keeping things uh, easy for your users. Um, and in case you're wondering, yes, I did design each one of these icons, and I have a whole bunch of them I've made before. Okay, so at any rate, what we're going to do is take take this and create a theme based on it. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go to Tools, and I'm going to go to the Theme Manager. Like I said, this theme that we have here is Cupertino. I quite like that theme, so what I'm going to do is just make a copy of that. And you can name it here, so I'm just going to name this... Uh, I'm just going to use my name because that's what it is. Um, so bold, I'm not going to worry about much. Um, the font, I am using a, uh, a Google Web font that I've installed. I've also installed it on my local machine so that I can use use it like this. So I'm going to use uh, Open Sans here. And the font size, I like bigger fonts, so I'm going to go with 14. Uh, maybe scale that back a little, 12. That's not bad. So for this light blue colored, I'm thinking maybe we go with uh, one of my theme colors, which is that. And the border we're going to go darker on. It's not terrible. Icon colors got to be white. Yeah, I like that better. Uh, text color also I want white. Okay, so that's a header type thing. Now we go down to this content, which is going to be styled right here. I actually, actually, you know what, that might be for default state. Just click, oh, no, I'm sorry, I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be down here. So I don't, I don't think that's that bad. I'm just going to change the icon color to my theme color here. 
Um, I'm just going to leave that alone. And, and, you know what, I'm going to change the text color to um, something. Yeah, three C's is fine. Um, let me get a little bit lighter. You know, this is the color I've been using for everything else. Six, nine. All right, so that's it for that. Now, the default clickable state. So that's going to be... Uh, like with the buttons, what it looks like right now. No, I can't, you can't see them, but um, before you hover over them. So my buttons, I want to be my theme color. And the text color is going to be white. And the border can be the same. The theme color here. Nope, that's not it. That's my theme color right there. Yeah, that's my theme color. Okay. All right, so now the icon we want to be white as well, same as the text. That looks good. Okay, now when we hover over that, what happens? It gets, uh, we make it lighter, right? That's what I do. I'm getting confused with all these blues in here. I can't tell what's what. This was my theme blue here, wasn't it? AC, okay, yep, that was it, I don't know how I, alright, so the border, let's make that the dark color here, that's not it, the four zeros, okay, so that's good, make the text white, make this icon white, icon matches the text, and now the active state, so that's when something is highlighted. Um, I'm going to make that the same as the hover state, I think. So we'll go 8. That one, solid, 40, so it should be this guy here, right? Yep. Solid, white, white. Okay, cool. Alrighty, and so that should be all set. You can edit this at any time. Um, by going to your theme manager, finding the theme you created, and just clicking edit. Um, you can also download themes, uh, pre-designed themes from websites, and you can import them here. So that's that's just the theme manager. Now what we need to do is tell this page that that's the theme we want to use. So now we go to our page properties, and you go to style, theme, and you're going to go down and select the theme you just created, which should be all the way at the bottom. And it says web theme, Brian Holder, there it is. Hit OK, now everything gets updated. Except for this for some reason. Okay, so for whatever reason, it looks like this element you need to set individually. So keep your eye out for that. There may be elements you need to manually change. And that's it. That's all set. So now when we preview this. You can see that things match my website a little bit better. I have my rollover effects. I have these effects. And again, with that active, you know, once I click on this, that's how that's determined, that color. So I could even have, I could have a different color for what's active, what's been clicked, and what's been hovered. Alrighty, so that's a real quick tutorial for you, and this gives you a real quick uh, look at my website. Like I said, hopefully it's up by now. Hopefully uh, you can go check it out and uh, see all the cool stuff I've done with it, but I don't really know, so I'm not going to commit to that. <laughs> um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It makes me want to do more of these videos for you. I really enjoy uh, teaching people how to use this program. I love this program, and uh, hopefully you do too. And I will catch you on the next episode.